Hey, so I had a very, very interesting revelation about my transition theory this past week. Um, namely that, so we've been playing around with this concept of soft transitions, or hard transitions, or mixed transitions, and thus far they all have been in a 2D environment, that is, a plane situated directly in front of us in wall plane, right? Um, but, it also works to describe another type of movement, which is this. Most of us learn this as uh, one of our first moves, it's the 3D weave, right? Now, what's interesting to me about it is that, technically speaking, if we were to keep our hands in a single plane, um, they would you know, have to crisscross each other just a little bit to keep from tangling. But, in order to keep this move going, we're actually subtly bending the planes that our koi work through around our body, um, such that they kind of fork open in a V, right? Now, uh, this is a type of movement that I've heard Alien John refer to as manifold spinning. That is, um, instead of just playing around with something that looks like a spirograph, we're playing around with something that leaves a pattern in 3D space that is a bit more complex, like say a car radiator or something, right? Um, it also applies to things like, say, polyrhythm hybrids, wherein I can do a trichaetra weave back and forth across my body. Calling this a weave is actually kind of deceptive because I'm not actually switching which hand is on top. I'm just switching which side of my body the action is being performed on, right? But nonetheless, it retains that primary characteristic that I'm bending the plane subtly around my body in order to uh, create a circle both on one side and, the, and on the other side, right? So, as we're playing around with transition theory, we also have the option of moving over to the plane that is on the other side of our bodies. Um, how this impacts transition theory is that since we're moving to a circle that is technically outside the circle, we could consider it an ET, that is, an extra tangent circle. The thing is, though, is it doesn't behave like an extra tangent circle. Relative to point movement and relative to the audience, a loop stays a loop and an arc stays an arc. In other words, I can't switch from an anti-spin flower to an arc on the other side of my body. I have to keep it an anti-spin flower if I'm going to work with the, uh, the angular momentum of my poi, right? Which means that all of these funky mixed transitions and hard transitions and soft transitions that we've been playing with in the IT work for weaves. So, for example, I could work up a cat based weave based upon a pair of mixed transitions. It also means that pretty much any of the 2D patterns that I've been playing with the past few weeks have a companion weave, or at least a companion manifold. So, um, this might not be a revelation to you guys, it was to me. It, it means that weaves can get a lot more complicated if we want them to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep on playing with this in the coming weeks, and uh, yeah, hopefully good things will come of it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.